back during World War II, they had signs posted all over trains, is this trip necessary? Trying to discourage people from using transportation too much as a way of saving resources. You might want to post a little sign on your forehead when you speak. Is this speech necessary? Are these words necessary? Because we can get ourselves into a lot of trouble just by letting things out the mouth. Or when you're working, you want to speak as little as possible, just enough to keep the, the job going smoothly, but not so much that it gets in the way and it wears you out. And this relates directly to the meditation. Because the mind talking to itself is the same mind that was telling you to say this and say that. It's just that its speech is now directed back inside. So you want to learn to be very careful about what you say, why you say it. This is an important part of the meditation itself. Don't think that meditation is just when you're sitting here with your eyes closed and your mouth closed. When the Buddha taught meditation to his son, he started out by saying, looking at your actions, look at your words, look at your thoughts. These things happen all the time. So try to keep good control over your mouth. Once you control your mouth, then it's a lot easier to control your mind. And you get a better sense of what's necessary and what's not. That sign we have posted on the, the guest house. Is this true? Is this beneficial? Is this the right time to say these things? You want your speech to pass all of those tests before you open your mouth. That way it improves the environment for your own meditation, it improves the environment for the people around you as they're practicing too. This way the fact that we live together becomes part of admirable friendship and not just one more obstacle that we have to get over. So try to make your speech conducive to the practice, conducive to the Dharma, and not something that wanders off astray. <laughs>